Welcome to Blue Harvest Toys. We've got this absolutely fantastic Waddington's The Battle of Little Bighorn. I used to have this in the shop. And I think I sold it for £55. So yes, it is a fantastic, really, really good game. Old Waddington's game. Waddington's of Leeds, by the way. 1964. The makers of Monopoly. So there we go. Yes, from Leeds. All the best stuff come from Leeds. Well, not all the best stuff, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I have printed off some... There was no rules with this, so I printed off the rules. We'll go through them. We're not going to play it. We're not going to play it. We're not going to play it. I'm just going to show you. Just showing you how awesome this is. Look at this board. This board, <laughs> this board is just too big for the camera. It's just absolutely gigantic. So it folds out into three. So, so you put your... You put your soldiers in there, and the Indians have to come and... There's, there's the Indian reserve there. Oh, God. That's hard. Hard to... <laughs> there we go. There's the Indian reserve. So you put your Indians in there. Uh, we'll go through the rules anyway. We'll show you how... Uh, look at this. One of the Waddington's wonderful... I mean, this, this vacuum-formed thing here is just... From 96 Spot, it's still there. Look at that. Look at that. So the, the rules are actually, well, it does, we're going to go through with this, right? Um, it does tell you what, what, what you do have included. Uh, we have in the box a little big Bahon battleground map. We see in the map three mounted Indian chiefs, three mounted Tomahawk armed Indians, six Indian armed with rifles, General Custer, two officers, six men. Regimental flag and all hand painted a plastic model. So we'll go through those again. That was 1964. One pound sixty one pound sixty-two. <laughs> That's obviously not in 1964. Um so 1876 fought one of the epic battles of Northwest American history. So here we go. This is like an illustration of it, which is fantastic. I love it. The only thing, this box is fantastic. It's got a little bit of a thing there, and it's got a bit of a paint there, but Apart from that, it's, this is absolutely brilliant. A brilliant box. A lot better box than I had before. So uh, we're going to show you the figures, but yeah. You've got to surround your men and the Indians attack you, basically. So let's see what we do have. We go, we've got these hand-painted. You can tell, can't you? You can tell. The plastic, plastic figures, plastic horses. But all it might need a little bit more paint on if um, whoever's receiving this wants to put wants to repaint them. I don't know. He might want not might not want to. So we do have um, three of each Indian. I think it said, didn't it? So they go into the little little slots there. So we've got a tomahawk. We've got one tomahawk. We've got two tomahawks. That's one horse. Uh, we've got three tomahawks and a horse. Right, so we need three riding with rifles. That's one. Two. Quickly going to put them on there. And three. So we've got all the horse. We've got them in for the horses, which is good. That's good. And we have one shooting Indian, two shooting Indians, three shooting Indians. We have one, two, three Braves. I shouldn't really call them Indians, should I? I should be calling them Native Americans, basically. So there we go, we've got the Native Americans, we've got the flag, General Custer's flag. Um, We've got one, two, two soldiers with, with their pistols and the swords there. We've got one, two, three soldiers with their rifles shooting. Pew pew pew. And I just just look at look at the little silver buckles and just 
hand painted figures are just absolutely you can imagine somebody sitting in the in the factory car in 1964 painting all these um and we've got three the kneeling down riflemen so we've got three six three uh five six seven seven soldiers i can't remember what he did actually say did it say seven soldiers uh oh yes uh, general cost two officers and six men so we've got got the six men two three four five six the two officers so they're they're officers and again The sheaves are painted. They got paint on the on the leg there, but that's not. Oh, it's just brilliant. Look at the little scarves and the painted little faces. They're brilliant. And then finally, but not least, is Colonel Custer himself. Could do a bit more paint on him. But yeah, outstanding little figure. Brilliant. That's so. That is complete. That is complete. Which is uh, quite amazing, really. I think. I think when I had this before, there was, was one, maybe one thing missing. Uh, one of the figures, I don't know, I can't remember. Um, but I did, I did, like I said, I did sell it for 35, uh, 55 pound. So I'm gonna put those back in. Now, I, as I said, the, the, the instructions were not printed off. And I tried to, I tried to double, double side it. I did it twice and it wouldn't do it for some reason. I don't know, printers on the fritz. So yeah, we tells you there what the, the, uh, your um, your contents are. I'll jump to the game. The battle is won by the Indians, Indians, Native Americans. If Custer and his officers are eliminate, eliminated and his flag is captured, they've captured it down there. Look, they've captured it already. <laughs> the battle is won by General Custer. If the three Indian chiefs are eliminated, if the flag can be got to either of the two squares marked with a blue arrow. Can be got to. Can be got to either. I don't know, that doesn't make much sense. That's not very good grammar. Um, one player takes the Indian side and one takes the Colonel Custer side. Preparation, mount the rise. I'm not gonna read it all. Mount the, mount the horse has done that. Place Colonel Custer and his men on one side of the blue triangle on the board. In this game, the dice are not used to move the men. They're only used to decide in individual combat. So we've not got any dice, but dice are easy to pick up, aren't they? I, could. I think that what, what might have been missing last time, you know. I think there might have been, two, what does it say? There are two dice, yeah. So I think I had to buy the dice to put it in to make it complete. So where you can get dice anywhere, can't you? Go down to your local uh, Warhammer store. <laughs> or anywhere actually so yeah two dice are missing from this that's all uh, so in the game this the, in this game the dice are not used to move the men they're used to decide individual combats so it's quite um, a precursor to like the role-playing games really isn't it with the dice games beginning of the game each player throws a dice and the one got Scoring the higher number will begin. So basically, you're throwing the dice to decide the combats between the men. Um, battlefield, it's got on squares, we've seen that. Limits on move. Men on foot can move in any square on the map. Mounted Indians cannot enter or pass over the squares marked with trees, boulders, or battlements. No one can cross the river except for the lords, where the rocks join the riverbanks, or the fords, sorry. My printing. No one can cross the river except at the fords, where the rocks join the riverbanks. So taking up battle positions, we're not going to read it through. I mean, if you want to read it, you can pause it and read it. I'll let you. Um, remember the tools are decisive. Firing ranges, cover, um, cavalry in face of combat one point. Those 
on foot among the trees one point those on foot amongst the battlements one point so yeah very basic very basic game there but i think it's just cool it's cool that you're getting these little figures these days you'd probably get cardboard figures or little counters or something like that there'd be nothing like that unless you're going unless you're paying a lot of money like some of the role-playing star wars games that you can get this would have probably been about what 10 pound in in our money in today's money it'd have been a very cheap cheap basic game but just something that's just so cool and i think the 60s cowboys and indians was really big wasn't it in the 70s, I mean 50s, 60s, 70s, it's still, it's still very big, very, very big, very big. So there we go, I mean we got a bit of damage in the board there, but that's not too bad. So there we go, so you've got the battlements there and the Indians are going to be coming for you on all sides. But that's a really good game actually, but that's a really exciting game. So there we go. Just, um, just something a little different today, just something I think you might be interested in. A description of this thrilling game is given on the underside of the box, we've looked at that. So yes, there we go, that is, I mean that is the full board there. And just the artwork as well, just the artwork, it, that makes it. So we've got Custer, we've got the Indians there, you don't get that many. <laughs> but yeah, I mean he could, he could even add your own and make it bigger i don't know anyway right thank you for watching join me next time may the toys be with you see you chump